Know it in a minute. One minute media. Suffering with the discomfort of a fever? Think twice about taking medication to suppress it. Fever, while not terribly pleasant, is one of nature's miracles. When infectious bugs invade your body, the brain's hypothalamus is called upon to turn up the heat high enough to kill those bugs. A basic fever, one due to minor bacterial or viral illness, is really an expression of the immune system working at its best. And a fever of 102 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit is considered the optimal defense against microbes. Since fever-reducing drugs actually inhibit the body's immune response, they may actually tend to prolong the illness rather than resolving it more quickly. Okay, so you think that's great, but you're still miserable. Well, it's best to let a moderate fever run its course. Here are some safe ways to alleviate your discomfort. First of all, anytime body temperature increases, salt and water are lost via sweating and stores of energy and vitamins are burned up, leaving us feeling even lousier. During moderate fevers, we can compensate for these losses by drinking appropriate fluids and eating nutritious foods or taking vitamins. You also need to get lots of rest. Now is not the time to exercise, work, or do any strenuous activity. Unfortunately, while it might make you feel more comfortable for a short time, taking a lukewarm bath or using a fan to cool the environment doesn't help for long, and your body may work harder to stay at its optimal bug-killing temperature. Always check with your doctor first, and remember, very high fevers, those above 106 degrees Fahrenheit, can harm the heart and brain. That's when it's not okay to let it run its course. Bottom line, a moderate fever is nothing to fear. So take the time to rest and hold off on taking that medication unless your fever is very high or you're extremely uncomfortable. Let your body do the work it was born to do.